Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, it's Hake here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a solid state drive to your computer. So um, I've built myself a gaming computer here, um, but uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a solid state drive to the computer. Now this computer already has a solid state drive installed to it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the solid state drive out and then show you guys how to connect it again so you guys know how to install it for your first time. This is an educational video for those who do not know how to install a solid state drive to a computer. And um, enjoy the video. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to power off the computer and hold the power button down until it completely turns off. Alright, and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the back and unplug your uh, power from the power cable. You're going to unplug the power, unplug it, alright, so that's that unplugged right now from power. And once you do that, you're going to, uh, you're going to uh, take off the back screws to open up the case. Now you only have to do one side here to do this on most computers. Um, it will take off the front cover like so and pull back. And this will expose the inside of the computer. And um, I'm just going to flip the computer down while I have my camera down here. Alright. So um, I flipped the computer down so you can see the components of the computer in here. Now. Before we work on any of the computer parts, it's real important to touch the middle part on the outside of the case with one hand to ground yourself. Alright, and once you've grounded it yourself because the computer was just powered on, there's probably electricity going through the motherboard still. So, if you've just powered the computer on, you may want to press the power button on your computer. Just a few times, press the power button on your computer. Just in case. Um, there's any electricity still left on the board if it does if there's if no fans move when you press the power button on your computer That means all the electricity is drained from the motherboard and you're safe to work on the computer So um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install a solid state drive So I'm just going to pop out the solid state drive here and unplug it and then I'm showing you how to in And I'm going to show you how to install a solid state drive and solid state drives are better for performance because they operate faster than normal hard drives would operate Okay, so I'm just popping out my solid state drive here for this demonstration. You can see here, this is a Samsung solid state drive. My computer comes with this plastic plate where I screwed the solid state drive into position with these three, four screws on either side. Alright, so when you get a solid state drive, you're going to essentially, you know, you may not have this plastic plate on your computer. But that's okay, you want to find a different place to mount the uh, solid state drive. So here's the solid state drive. And as you can see, the connections to plug it in are right there. And we're going to plug it in using a static cable connector. And I'm just going to uh, unplug an, an available static connector so I can show you that and demonstrate this pro process. Alright. So... This is what a stab, static connector cable looks like. Is what we're going to be uh, plugging in to the motherboard, and then the other end into the hard drive. And then on the power supply, we'll be looking for the connector to connect the uh, SSD, which it looks like is like this. This is the connector. So one end of this one goes into the motherboard, the other end into the the, the solid state drive. All right. So to install a solid state drive, it's simple, alright? So once you've mounted your solid state drive, what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, help it if I put it in the right way, is just mount it into place until it clicks, like that, that's that. And you're going to, um, first you're going to connect one end of the uh, solid state drive into place, right here. And it will just go in like so. The second end, you're going to locate an SSD, an open SSD. Sorry, what am I calling that? Sorry, an open SATA port. It's called a SATA cable. This is called a SATA cable. I've made a mistake if I said solid state drive cable. Whoopsie. For that. Yes, I'm new to building Peter. So you can see on the motherboard here, there is a port for the SATA connector. We're just going to plug that in like so. 
it's real simple if it doesn't fit it's it doesn't go there so we'll just plug that in it's hard to do this so keep in mind while i'm holding the camera with one hand if i had a mount this makes my job easier so we'll just plug that into the sata connector on the motherboard real quick all right so one end's in the motherboard one end one end's into the uh connector on the, the ssd and then we're going to look on the power supply we're going to look for the other connector which i showed you this other connector is really easy it looks exactly like this right here where is it exactly like this right here this is what it and this end goes in to the other side right beside the sata cable right beside it it goes right into the to the ssd right beside it so i'm just going to plug it in and there you go once that's plugged in that is the ssd card or ssd drive is installed so this is um was a tip on how to um install a solid state drive to the computer i hope you've uh, enjoyed my video and uh, remember to comment right and